before you start designing your compact logic system, there are several areas that you want to be aware of before you get started. We're going to utilize Rockwell Automation's Integrated Architecture Builder and show you firsthand how you can avoid these pitfalls in the future. Let's get started. So say you're doing a compact logic system, and from here I've got a couple of selections. I can do 1769, the uh, original compact logics, and then 5069, the, the new high performance. So if I click on the high performance, you can select what kind of network you'd like to do, a linear network, uh, a network with a switch, it'll automatically add a switch for you. And then all you do then is type in your IO count. If you've got, you might have uh, 50 digital inputs, 50 outputs, and then you can do your, your analogs, draw a few numbers in here. You can add another network if you, uh, if you like, and then it gets you to the last page, what it would select. And it will also allow you to add some other things if you need a serial module or a high speed counter. So we can add a serial module and then finish. And what that does then is it, it builds your system for you. And it not only builds your system, it optimizes it. So it puts every card in the right position, right? So the, the other thing it, it does from here is it calculates all your power usage. So you never have to figure out what power supplies you need. Everything is already calculated right here. Once you add, start adding stuff onto the ethernet network, it will tell you uh, how many SIP connects you've connections you've used and how much you have left on the network. So the way I did this system, it actually added a, a remote rack um, because of the controller that it was selected was a 306. I can go back in there. I can open up the wizard. I can scroll through to the end and I can change that controller because if you look at this controller, it supports eight IO modules. So if I go to a 310, this is also eight, go to a 320, that's 16. So now when I finish and I look at the rack, it's put everything in one because this, this processor supports that many. The good thing with that is if you've manually, if you've gone through a system and you manually select a processor, so say you select it based on memory, you've selected a, a 306 processor and you've selected 13 cards, you buy all that stuff and then you put it together. And then when you're testing, you realize that the 306 doesn't support 13 cards. Using this product will actually find that out right at the get go. It'll tell you straight away, hey, you need a 320 to support the number of cards you've selected. It's, it's very smart. It doesn't let, it, let you get away with these little uh, errors that are, are very common uh, when you're manually selecting and going through manuals. Now you should be confident with your compact logic system. For further support with Rockwell Automation Solutions, check out this playlist with tons of practical insight to help you grow your knowledge of these industry-leading solutions. Now, if you need direct guidance, head on over to EECO online com to connect with our team of experts today. That's eecoonline.com. We look forward to serving you.